Can we just get a giant woohoo for that number? Yeah. All right, so I want to show you my benchmark dresses. This is, is, of course, my first one. This is a size 16. This is my Christmas dress from the uh, Christmas party for Chris's work last year. And last year, it was all I could do to get in this, and there was a lot of shapewear involved. Today, there is zero shapewear. I'm going to show you the length there. It's just below my knee. But you can see that this is a very comfortable and it has a lot of her room in it. Look, Evelyn thinks she's the Hulk with her Hulk fist. So they're playing pretty hard. I want to show you what I look on the side for how big my rear end looks and how far my tummy sticks out. And you can see there's some plenty of room in this. I'm having no problem moving around in it at all. There's no sucking in or anything like that. I could sit in this with no problem. So that is my first benchmark, the size 16 dress from the Christmas party. Next is my next benchmark down. This is a Jones New York dress. This is a size 14. And just looking at this kind of for the first time, I realized how good this dress really really looks um now it is not perfect i do not have any shapewear on again and you can kind of see some hip bulges and here on the side you can see my tummy does stick out quite a bit i do feel like my rear end looks just fine in this and in fact if i put some shapewear on this dress would probably be totally fine I wanted to show you where it falls just above my knee which is the place that i really like the most as far as my dresses and skirts go. Um, now, there are a couple problem areas with this dress, other than the fact that um, my bra is showing just a little tiny bit at the top. I would need a different foundation garment. Again, my tummy does stick out kind of a lot, and it is a little bumpy. It almost makes this look like a pregnancy dress, which is like freaking me out a little. But um, this right here is the problem, is my arms. That is tight. Let's fly, fly to the stars, fly! Sorry, um, but that is the one problem area with this dress that makes it uncomfortable. So, but otherwise, it fly, doesn't look fly, bad. Fly. All right, so as you can tell, this whole episode so far has been weight, steps, and then don't monkey this and trying on my benchmark clothes. So, I know that... Um, you obviously saw my weight a little bit earlier and things are going back in the right direction I have um, started the intermittent fasting like back to the 18 hours and I have an app that I'm using that's helping me with that and when I do the 18 hours just just like like a machine goes doink and, and then you know or you know, goes here and then this happens I lose weight so I'm very happy with that and I did promise like two or three weeks ago that I would put these clothes on and show you what they look like the red dress fits just like a glove like like even it's a tad nice and loosey-goosey it's very very comfortable the black dress I can get on that is the red dress is a 16 the black dress is a 14 it's Jones New York and I can get it on this is a problem area for me this is very tight it's not so uncomfortable I couldn't wear it but it's uncomfortable enough that I might opt for something instead um, or even if I was going to be wearing it a lot I would cut down here and just turn the, the the sleeves under so that it vented like an extra inch or something to give me that the room for my wings to flap you gotta fly somehow right um, also I feel like it makes me it's not a flattering look do 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 there's nothing in there that you need kids are almost knocking down the TV Let's see here look so anyway um, the, the black dress, I don't know, it's just not as flattering. I probably need a lot of shapewear for it. And the discomfort of, or, you know, the, the constriction of, of shapewear plus the arm thing probably means it's just not really a go for me at this point, but soon. So, 
anyway I thought that it would be fun to do that and then obviously you saw Evelyn and Lillian um, getting to play along with me they really enjoyed the trying stuff on and obviously they danced around in the clothes a little bit so um, so anyway that's what today's vlog is about so as you can see my milestones you can see that I totally the the red dress absolutely 16 fits me the 14 gets on but just because a garment can get on your body does not mean it fits it does not fit yet so just got to keep keep going with the progress before I know that black dress is gonna look great and will fit my arms All right, I'm going to take you through some screenshots from my phone. This is the uh, Fitbit app that I use, and this is my one month. It's been pretty steady. My BMI is still super high at 35.5, but it is trending down just a little bit. So the purpose of showing you this is it just for you to kind of get a um, like an overall sense of how things are going for me. Because when you see things every day, you don't always get that. So this is going to be June 1st through August 31st. So this is my three months. Now, I have been on the Bulletproof Diet since the 1st of May. So this entire line is Bulletproof time. And you can see that it has gone down. My BMI average was 36.2. Thank goodness that's going down. Over the last year, you can see in the first part of the year, I really wasn't tracking but then you can see where I started to track and the jagged line happened and it's come way down 36.6 average for the year. It's not bad as far it's better than it has been. So we're trending in the right direction, right? All right. So here we have my one year of weight and I've averaged over 200 pounds, which is really sad. Now, at the very beginning of the year, I was 203 when I was working at Target. You can see that I kind of quit tracking for a while, and then things went wrong, and I was at like 215, 219, Hi. and then I've come way, way can down you, since then. Can you color with me? I will color with you, yeah. And Hi. then this is my three month average of my actual weight, and you can see that it has just like it's it's an awesome ski slope. Downhill, baby, downhill. <laughs> I'm very pleased with that. So, and that's the last three months of weight tracking. Um, it's a, a sharper decline than my BMI, which is okay. So the next slide is from Lose It, and I've actually been lose, using Lose It for several years since Mom, 2011, maybe. And you can see where I started, and I've come down. And this is the three months worth of tracking. Now, I have been tracking on this such a long time, and I will show you that a little bit later. You can see my weight has fluctuated. I have in the past, yeah, see here, this is one year. This is the year of weight tracking, and it's essentially the same as um, Fitbit, but I do feel like I track more often in Lose It than I have Fitbit, only because I've been using Fitbit so much longer. Oh, that 191 number is fantastic. And also, I've lost 36 pounds since I restarted this new weight plan. This is the last six months, so 211. So this is going to encompass the entire time that I was on the Bulletproof diet. And I did start at 211, and then I gained like eight pounds right away. Like, it was really kind of unsettling, but I lost it then, so... Again, so over the, the period of this project, 36 pounds down for Lose It. And Lose It is different than the, t like I said, than the time I've been on Bulletproof. So that's why I have a number here. I have a different number in uh, Fitbit. And then I have a number that I actually count. And the Fitbit does not, if you start on a number, if you start at 211, if you gain five pounds, it does not care. It always measures it against 211. So. And this is my month, and this month has been pretty uh, level. I haven't lost a ton because 
that birthday party just threw me all off. But you can see the last couple of days, there is a downward slope to it. It's not huge, but it is a huge thing for me. So I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next round.